What's going on world? I'm coming to you today from not Cleveland Power Performance, but the back of a 1976 Caprice. And uh, me and some boys are on a bit of a road trip here. Today we're going to rescue Ricky's stranded jet ski. So that's right folks, we're taking this 76 Caprice for a test drive. And also we're gonna use it to rescue a jet ski. I don't really know what we're getting ourselves into, but let's hear the story from the man himself who got stranded on beautiful Lake Erie, on the shores of Cleveland, on his jet ski. What exactly happened, sir? Oh boy, everyone, thanks for coming along. Anthony, thanks for letting us take your beautiful 76 Caprice. So we got our brakes done, Anthony, we're test driving her. So really good part, she's out and moving. Um, slight quick backstory here, the 76 Caprice hasn't seen the road since 1998. So we were taking her on her main voyage to get our jet ski out of the lake. So I went out last night, beautiful night in Cleveland. Lake's usually pretty rough. Lake was like glass. I was probably one of the last people to launch last night. You know, as that hindsight goes on a little bit, it was odd how everyone was coming in, but I was, you know, going out. So I've had that jet ski. She is a relic. She is what we call vintage. I think I bought it in maybe 2003 and really never had an issue. Been a really reliable jet ski. Last night went out, maybe a few passes and grill tipped a little weird. And I was like, oh man, you know, that don't seem right. And uh, pretty much about five seconds after, she was taking on water. And I was far enough out in the lake where I was like, oh, this ain't gonna be good. But I was like, someone will pick me up because there's so many people out here. But I realized it got dark very quick last night. I'm guessing time-wise it was 6.30. Everyone went in and I was the only one out there. So the couple people that would, uh, you know, go by on their boat or jet ski, I'm in the lake, yeah, you know, come get me, come get me. They probably couldn't see me because it's dark. The jet ski has, you know, some black on it and probably just blended in. So I was like, oh shit, what are we gonna do? So obviously I didn't want to drown because that would have sucked. But I did have a life jacket on. Of course, people cannot say enough. Life jackets are lifesavers. So I basically hooked the rope around the jet ski and started slowly swimming the thing back into shore. Well, why would I swim the jet ski into shore and not just leave it? Great question. I was gonna leave the jet ski out there because I'm out of shape and I didn't want to tow the thing in. But I was like, if I have to spend all night out here, the lake's not that warm and I'm probably gonna freeze and get hypothermia and whatever, not feel so great. So I figured worst case, those jet skis never per se sink, sink. It was halfway underwater. I would just flip the thing over and sit on it all night and hopefully someone in the morning would come find me. So I eventually made it in, you know, I'm guessing, who knows, an hour and a half of slowly swimming this thing in and I was able to get the jet ski, I don't know if I'd say onto land, but stuck in some version of a cliff because it was dark. So we're gonna head out to the lake today and see if the jet ski's still even there. Did it float out to sea? Did it go all the way under? What's left? So let's go, uh, let's go out there and figure it out. Okay, folks, you heard it here. We got drama, we have trauma, we have it all coming to you from Cleveland Power Performance. We got power performance, trauma, and drama. And then also, you might have noticed this guy's here. Why are you here? Uh, muscle. All right, we got the brains, we got the muscle, and then we got catastrophe <laughs> no uh wild card the brains the muscle and the wild card and that's your that's your uh that's your trio right there so we're gonna go get this thing done and i don't know we're gonna see what happens we're lucky he made it back to shore like he said wear a life jacket when you're doing that all seriousness aside let's get back to the fun let's go get this jet ski we're gonna continue driving and we'll check back in with you once we get to the water All right, so we got to our first destination, our first checkpoint in the mission, and that is to get that Escalade right there because it's got the trailer. That's our first mission is to get a rescue vehicle. So we need to take this 76 Caprice right here is the vehicle that we took to get to the rescue vehicle. Now, I'm ready to go. I'm locked and loaded. We're going to make this happen. Yeah, right, we are. Oh, and me and Adam just went back to the water to look at it, see how choppy it was. And what did we see, Adam? pretty smooth but it's starting to ripple in but what did we see uh oh yeah we saw a beautiful bald eagle soaring right past us oh, on the wings of america we saw that thing oh god oh, dead ends we saw it all right we're coming back to you later so your boys are at the boat launch here we got the jet ski retrieval vehicle to the boat launch, but we can't get in the boat launch. 
because they changed from a scan card like access thing like you'd get at a hotel or whatever to like a mobile app and somebody that I know isn't very good with technology and wasn't able to get that figured out so I was just troubleshooting that but luckily this gentleman over here just pulled in with his boat and I'm sure he's gonna let us in we got all kinds of stuff going on pretty sweet boat I wonder what he's gonna be out there doing I don't see any oh I do see some fishing poles but my dude's gonna go out he's gonna go out and do he's gonna do some fishing today we're going down to the boat launch baby all right we're suited up I brought my waders cuz you know how I am I like to fish so we're gonna go get the jet ski report when we get to the uh the landing zone are you taking your i will send coordinates where yeah, these guys are talking there. about top yeah. secret uh frogmen mission stuff so let's go go take let's go rescue a jet ski head to toe ready to go hopefully these waders don't leak i do have some issues because you know i'd be crawling through the woods all the time you know what i'm saying so We'll make it happen. We are leaving our truck and trailer there, and we're gonna see exactly how far away from the boat launch is the jet ski. Because Rick, in a haze and dazed and confused stupor, um, hypothermic, possibly even um, geriatric, I'm not sure what that word means, but it sounds like it could be right. Uh, he doesn't know exactly where the hell this thing is at. Heck, this thing is at. So, we are going to count the paces and then so that way if this happens again in the future we could draw a map it to help us get back to the stranded jet ski i think ricky's counting houses now i've already got 10 i'm not gonna screw up his counting some beautiful houses here that house is awesome uh, okay well with every house this is getting worse this is gonna be a long situation unless somebody tows us or <laughs> unless somebody tows us or the thing runs but I don't know. If we gotta drag a bag with a rope this is gonna suck. So Rick how are we even how are you even like trying to figure out where we're going? Like what are you looking at to remind you of where we were? I still tell people quite a bit by their side gate, so I'm hoping the side gate will uh, ring a bell to me. Yeah. I feel like I'm pretty close, and I think that might have been it right there, okay. so that with, was it. With, with the Tahoe right. in the... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. sweet. Perfect. That was it. All right, that's so we got our house. Out. Yeah, that's pretty far. So we are going to go to where the ex-lifeguard sunk his sea dew. It is a 1972, 1200cc carbureted... Sea do and it belongs at the bottom of a lake and that's where it is but we're gonna go get it what do you think we should do with this after we're done like we build a lot of cars have we ever ls swapped a jet ski what about a hellcat powered jet ski what are we thinking junkyard employees rescue 1972 sea do from bottom of lake to swap it here's the thumbnail left or right left. To the left, to the left. Thank you, King, sir. You are a true hero. All right, we're walking through a stranger's backyard here. And there's the lake. And we're going to walk to the lake. Still here? Yeah. Uh, there's the jet ski right there. And over here on your other side you'll have beautiful downtown cleveland and that's the view that ricky had when he was fighting for his life to swim back to shore um these are some serious steps so here we are in beautiful lake erie and the crystal clear shores of the water and there's some goby swimming around and all kind of other tropical cleveland species and there is downtown cleveland with the one and only beautiful downtown cleveland ohio skyline so we're gonna get in the water and we're gonna go into the water you go sir 
There's Rick getting in the water. And we are just going for it. I should have brought a fishing pole. Because I could have definitely fished during this whole endeavor. And there it is. This is the castaway bay where Ricky made friends with a uh, soccer ball. There's the soccer ball. There's fireball. And there's the rope. Why didn't you climb that rope? Hey, this thing ain't even underwater at all. I bet you we could all three ride it back. She's going to fire right up. It's a three stroke, so we should be good. I'm leaking back here a little bit, but we'll be all right. Drier than these boys. All right, so we are going to start to pump you up. All right, this is what we're dealing with here. Um, I'm going to go get the empty fireball and start, like, trying to get that out of here. All right, so we're pumping some of that water out of here. We're pumping. And there's our buddy that we saw at the boat launch. I think that's him. He's hanging around out there. So Ricky tried to go up these steps. Whoa! Ah! We can't litter. Littering and. All right, so we got a bunch of water out of the jet ski as you can see All that water is gone. Whoa now the pump just sprayed me, but you know Sometimes that's how it goes last night when Ricky was fighting for his life He tried crawling these stairs. He got up there and they dang don't go to nowhere He was stranded because It was not the staircase to heaven. It was a staircase to nothing over time things happen like that you can see so i don't know what we're doing we're still pumping and we're gonna keep pumping away all right how much water we got left in there There's a couple inches way back in the back so we're gonna start dragging it back it in the water let's go The uh, plug's back screwed in. All right, here we go. Watch your step, guys. Don't break an ankle. We have a visitor over here. This is, I think this is a gentleman that we saw at the boat launch. Right? Yes. Alright, so it looks like we are going to get towed in. Or at least the jet ski is. Rick is going to talk to this gentleman. These boys are swimming around out here. And uh, yeah, they're going to get towed in. So I'm going to keep walking just because I don't want to get stuck out here. And I honestly, at this point, I don't really know what to do because my waders are taking water in. I am going to climb up these stairs and get myself back to the car where I'm going to meet them at the boat launch. Teamwork. It won't steer, right? Or is there a rudder? It steer. I mean, it's... Do you want to hop up? Yeah, just keep a hand on that rope. And uh, no matter, it's knotted a couple times, so it shouldn't shouldn't come off.
Yeah. Yep, there they go. I'm hiking up these stairs here. Hopefully into a nice yard with an open gate. So I don't come across a disgruntled person in their yard. That wouldn't be fun. There they go. I'll meet them back at the boat launch. What's your name? Chuck. Nice to meet you. I'm Adam. Rick's on the jet ski and then that's Tim. in the water well I found this key to the jet ski floating that Adam's super super small underwear wouldn't hold so I like to thank Adam for losing the key but luckily I was there to save that so okay but all in all we're good right all in all, oh, we're we're good. Fantastic. all right so there's water yeah. and stuff but we're gonna get back to the shop and then what did you say we're gonna what did you say about assessing the damage how do we do that so we're gonna go back to the shop and basically see what is the damage besides a lot um, obviously all the sand down here should not be in the impeller that is a bad spot for that so we gotta get all that cleaned out. And then the decision becomes, you know, and you guys can chime in here, this thing's not worth a whole lot, we know that. Do we take the insurance money and just, you know, let her go? Do we do a crazy build on this thing with some crazy paint on her? So bring her back out. So we'll kind of let you guys throw some comments on. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna see what check they're offering here because if the check's this big, you know, maybe we just let it go. Well, if it's a small check, which I'm assuming, then maybe we just do a crazy build on a thing. Um, we love vintage and she's vintage, so. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's take her back to the shop and we'll go from there. Oh, yeah, yeah. so there we go. We got the top notch, the top flight crew here on mechanics on the jet ski. And as you can tell, she's full to the top. So, uh, well, well, I was going to say we're back at the shop because we left off in the trail, tra blazing the trails, but we're back in the shop. And then what was that? The motor is completely, not surprisingly, full of water all the way to the top. So Damn. all this beautiful lake water stuck all over top of the motor is what well, we're starting to pump out of her to see if the motor's even got a chance or what we want to do with her. The sooner you get it out, the better, right? Yeah, the sooner I... That's right. Oh, as Andy was just explaining, bare metal in there, so obviously stinky freshwater lake water, not great for sitting in there, so maybe we'll give her a few more cranks here and see what else comes out, but uh, she, uh, she full to the top, which isn't good, so I okay. guess we'll see what she does here in a sec. What now? Handy anyway, what are we gonna do? We're gonna dry her out, oil her up. Dry her out and fire it up. What was our culprit of why this girl found the bottom of the lake last night? Coming on in here, seems like we had a hose clamp that failed and blew off and our hose split. Um, and that water is supposed to come back in and cool the motor from the lake. And luckily that water filled up our compartment to the top. So that made us a very, very heavy jet ski and that jet ski went on the bubble boom. So that uh, clamp failing and that hose ripping blew all the water from the lake into the engine bay and then flooded her out and there she went down. So found the culprit at least. So um, now we gotta see what the next plan steps are with her. Next options are we, uh, you know, just let insurance take her and she just goes on to the next world and goes to the salvage auction. Um, the motor is at least, you know, sp spinning there, but completely full of water. So maybe we try to save the motor. Or option three would be, I guess, tear her all apart, redo her up, give her a new paint job, and maybe give her a little motor upgrade. So those are options one, two, and three where we're kind of at right now. 
I ain't gonna lie, I'm sad. I've had it a while, I know she's an old vintage girl, but it's sad to see her kinda effed, for lack of better words, so. A little bit of emotion right here. You know, I know there's a lot better jet skis out there, and there's a lot newer and a lot bigger, but sometimes you get your ride or die, you know, and your ride or die is who you wanna keep, so. I'm not gonna lie, I'm disappointed she's kinda this messed up right now. But also, she sat full of lake water, completely full to the top for whatever, 16 hours, so. That's never going to be good for anything, no matter if you're even made to go in water. So um, what will that next step be between one, two, and three? I guess we'll see what insurance says and kind of make our decision from there, and we'll let you guys know. Okay, so we're going to let Ricky mourn his loss over there by himself. And we will make sure to come back with the hottest content here from Cleveland Pond Performance, whether it's on land, on sea, in the sky, or anywhere. We're coming to you with the hottest content on all different forms of platitudes and latitudes when we decide and determine what we're going to do with that thing we'll make a video about it and you better watch it better like subscribe share oh, and i always say this but please do this if you can if you are subscribed to us but your friends and family aren't grab their cellular phone open up the youtube app type in cleveland power performance and hit subscribe they don't even need to know that you did it just do it we'll be good to go get them subscriber numbers up thank you very much we'll be back to you very soon here from cleveland power performance